Is it some type of holiday? No, it's just Sarah managing her time to work with school and cheer and all that other ish together. So some of you may know I'm going to be doing a makeup Q&A. Some of you guys ask me those random questions. It's a makeup Q&A. So it's any of uh, these are just makeup related questions. Anything you have on how to do makeup, things on what to get, I don't know, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to answer your questions and most of them from Instagram. So I'm going to be getting them from there. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I posted this twice. Like I posted like that picture so you guys could ask me any kind of questions you want to go to makeup there was a lot in the one I, I just put it like 30 minutes ago because okay anyways so oh, excuse me um so the very first question is how do you do your eyebrows to make them on fleek and goals af um do these look on point or goals to you no! I never do my eyebrows. Like, to me, doing my eyebrows is like so much work. It's literally as much work as doing your legs. I mean, like, it's, it's smaller. You actually see it closer. But it just, you have to be so precise because you miss one hair. It's all over. It's just, it's just, it's all over. It's but, I don't know. I mean, I would normally get it threaded whenever it's like really, really bushy. But after that, I normally do my own, but I've been like so lazy and I have like no time to focus on it. And literally when I like hold my, like, um, when I hold my tweezers like right next to my eye, I'm focusing on it so much that I like, I hold my breath and so I'm like, <gasps> and then it's like, I am. I have to breathe. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. Tell me how I'm supposed to be the note. Next question, okay, what are some easy ways to reapply makeup throughout your day at school or I guess you need like any kind of, basically when you're out and obviously you don't have your mirror and your makeup stuff like I do like sitting right next to me, so. Yeah. So for me, actually sometimes like last year when I was in my, I was in my middle school, I was in seventh grade and I would sometimes run late for school and I would have that time to reapply my makeup. Now I'm not saying I would wear makeup every single day. I would definitely give my I would definitely give your face a rest so you see like any kind of blemishes kind of growing up because I would like kind of treat that before you put any kind of um, cosmetics on. But what I would normally do, I would literally bring all my makeup, not all, maybe like the ones I did anything else I didn't do in my room, bring it on the bus with me and do it on the bus. Yes, I did get some stairs, and I mean like a lot of stairs, but you know, I shouldn't forget people, so like, I shouldn't call you people, I mean, you're my besties. You're my <laughs> but, I don't know, I guess I would bring like the smallest pieces of makeup you want to like reapply, like I don't know, like lipstick, mascara, um, maybe if you have like a setting spray you want to reapply on, um, hmm, okay, how do you look chic <laughs> after PE class? Okay, so I'm good at makeup, but I'm not that good. Literally, ever since seventh grade, whenever I have PE, we only have about three, five minutes just to change into your clothes and then change back into it. I won't even have enough time to put on my shoes. I'll be just like, putting it on as I'm walking down the hallway because that's how much time you honestly have. I mean, if you get lucky, your teacher lets you out early for gym, then I don't know. I guess I would, well, the number one thing I would say and you definitely would have time for this, is to get the, um, because obviously in the bathroom they would, have, they would have like these, um, tissue paper towels dispensers. Use that to blot your face because oil will collect up on your face, oil and dirt will build up on your face during pee with all like the sweat you have. And that, because your makeup, um, over your face, it will clog your pores more if you do have sweat on it. So definitely blot your face and I will definitely keep your face looking nice and luminous. Luminous, but not too luminous. You know what I mean? Okay. This one says, "Why do you buy most of your make? Where where do you buy most of your makeup products?" Um, I kind of buy them like all. I don't know. Well, half of the stuff I got from my mom, so it was like really expensive brands because I don't know she was like me and obsessed with makeup. But normal places, normally the places I buy it from are either the drugstore. Sephora or once in a while I'll go to MAC when I have like the money or I save up for one of MAC But when I say drugstore products, products I don't even like any little cheap like little princess Disney branded things that I, you know, no, no I mean like getting like, I don't know, like um, Maybelline, L'Oreal Yeah, that's where I normally get them So, um, 
same, the same person asked, why do I wear makeup? Well, I can guarantee when people see me like wear makeup almost all the time, they're probably thinking, oh, she's just so insecure about herself. She just wears makeup all the time. Oh, I don't do that. I wear my makeup because I love how, well, I just, I'm good at it. I, I'm not gonna say I'm like the best. I'm just saying I'm good at it. It's something I love to do and I'm just really good at it. Like I find it kind of like interesting how to like try with the different makeup props and that kind of stuff. And it's just like different like to create stuff. It's like kind of having a work of art in your face. And for you girls out there who have a lot of insecurities, do not feel in so insecure that you should go buy expensive makeup because it's cool, because you wanna like have all your blemishes cover up. No, that is not the answer. Be yourself. I just wear makeup. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm just saying that don't wear it for insecurities, wear it for something that you love to do. That like, you want to do your makeup, like you want to because you love to, not because you have to to cover everything up. That's what, that's what this person is, I think. What's your favorite makeup brand? My favorite makeup brand, it would have to be MAC. I mean, although it is expensive, it has like the amazing quality and like I've been in their stores. And I mean, maybe like you've seen their pictures online and they have like really kind of serious, intense makeup, maybe look a bit like kind of a, not gonna lie, kind of a clown with like all like the vibrant colors, but like I said, it's art. And they're like really intense about it, but like when you go into a store, man, everybody is so friendly, like not gonna lie. Like they won't like, like I mean, some people are like kind of friendly and they will like, kind of sell you into stuff just by being really nice. I mean, like yeah, that, that's their job, but they're like actually being really nice and they're not like, needy like always have to be like you need a bag you need a bag you need a bag need a bag you need some assistance they're not like that they're just i don't know i think they're just super fun well in my area they are so do you have the Too faced chocolate bar girl i wish i wish because i've been wanting that for like the longest time because i just love the colors to it like i'm like i mean the way i wear nudes isn't like just nude everywhere on my face like i mean i'll kind of brighten up with like some color a little bit like blush and um lipstick but i just oh my goodness like if you haven't seen the colors of it i guarantee that it you will love it because it just works with every single skin tone i i personally love it i wish i can get it but like i'm i'm saving up for you i really want it so i'm saving up for it so do you apply concealer before fun before after foundation you actually apply it after because if you're thinking it like in a basic term, like I'm like building a house, like the foundation of a house, the foundation is like the very beginning of it. The concealer kind of covers up, I don't know, like whatever is after the foundation. So first I would apply my foundation and then I would have like cover it with concealer. I don't wear concealer like over my little, um, my pimples because I don't know. I think it just brings it out more because I have like a little dry ring around it and it just looks really bad. So you know what I just wear under my eye? And actually, I do have a trick for that. At the end of this video, I may be doing some like tricks and tips, a few of them, because I'm pretty sure this video is gonna be pretty long. So that's what I normally do. Foundation first, and then concealer. Okay, so actually, that was actually the last question. So now I just hear from tips and tricks. Okay, so I just find it easier just from starting to put on makeup to the end of makeup. So foundation. When putting on foundation, it really depends on how your skin is, like how you like it with a brush or a sponge. I personally use, I actually have, yeah, I use a stippling brush from e.l.f. I cleaned it yesterday, but as you can see, it's kind of already messy from this morning. But this was a small stippling brush, and you will not believe how much I got it for. Do you really want to know how much? I will tell you how much. I got this brush for three dollars. Amazing quality brush, in my opinion, not advertising, for three dollars. From my personal opinion, that this is a Lancome brush and it is amazing quality like I mean like for real like the brush the bristles are just a perfect there's a little blush in there if I use it it is super soft I love it but here's the price difference this is like $68 this is $3 in my opinion if you would or on a budget and I mean if you still want good quality things I would go with something like this rather than this I mean it is this is actually my mom's I mean it's actually really great quality no lie but it's just you get the same for cheaper I mean like okay so moving on to the next one uh, let's see concealer so for concealer what I oh my gosh this is like the best trick I've ever heard of 
So what you do when you're concealing like under your eyes, I guess. Um, I guess this could work for anything else. I mean, I guess you do have a little palette for it. It's like a green, red, kind of beige color to kind of cover up any blemishes. But the easy thing to do about buying that, that product would be using a concealer and a red lipstick. So you're using red lipstick, what you want to do is first apply it under the eye on both sides. You probably already saw this in my other video before, my um my fall makeup tutorial one, where I was like telling you why I did this. So first I would put on my red lipstick, blend that in, and then I would put my concealer right under that and cover that up. You do not want any redness showing, this is just to kind of make it more even tone. And kind of give it that kind of pinky, um, pinky natural color that you have that in your skin. And I just think it works really amazing. I got this from other night YouTube right now. A lot of beauty people are doing you now a lot of makeup artists are doing this and I think it just works perfect. Okay, and next so I guess bronzer. So when you're doing your bronzer, I mean this kind of works for um I keep flip flipping my hair. Um it's kind of works for different kind of face shapes, but for me no I normally do. I put bronzer in like the hollow of my cheeks, I put it on my jawline. Uh, on the sides of my nose and also on my temples. I think it's kind of like kind of defines your face more. I mean, my cheekbones are pretty defined now, no lie. But I just think it kind of gives more of a nice, deeper tone and does give your skin like a little bit of tan. Um, for highlighting, I guess, I, what I normally do when I highlight, I highlight above your lid to kind of give it more defined Cuban bow. Cupid bow. I have um, on my chin, on the ridge of my nose, and then I highlight a bit here. I kind of like kind of stroke outwards. And then I love to like, yo, my my skin looks so luminous whenever I apply it like right under my eye, like not under your eye, because the sparkle will kind of give you a bit more of a wrinkly look, but like kind of like on your cheeks. And it makes your cheeks look a bit more higher, and it does look really cute. Well, moving on the blush, I guess I would just say to make sure your blush and your lipstick matches, because then it looks way more natural. If you're going for like more of a casual, everyday routine look. But like, I don't know, I guess like a costume look. If you're going for that kind of look, I guess like it doesn't really matter because you know, it's what it, it's whatever you want to wear. But I'm just saying like, if it was like a really natural kind of looking makeup, makeup, I would kind of like match them together. Looking at my phone, uh, okay. Well, here's some mascara tips, all right. Okay, so for mascara tip number one, never, and I even know this, never pump your wand. I mean, if you're just, Maybe just once, just once pump your wand. So if you like one for this side, one for that, and that's it, but don't like go. No, it dries it out. It makes it all clumpy and it just does not make it as smooth and nice as you want it to be. Tip number two, um, use less mascara on your lower lashes than your top lashes because it just gives it a more casual look, I guess. And when you're like blinking a lot, like kind of like, you know, squinting, it doesn't really come off so much on your, um, on your under eye longer lashes so this is just so this you know regular do you mascara but then if you want like a longer lash look and make it look more like farther apart and more open do it on the outer of your eyelashes it kind of gives more of like a butterfly look and it looks really, really nice so my friend even told me this you know how they have actually i have it quickly got up so this is typically for um for eyebrows so this part actually is for eyebrows but then for the comb part Here's what some people don't realize. For the comb part, you can use this to actually unclump your mascara. And I mean, like, actually, when I was little, and I, yes, I used probably use makeup when I was, like, in fifth grade. I was surprised no one actually asked that question because, um, I would have asked myself. <laughs> you just kind of, you know, this regular brush that you normally do with your mascara and it just kind of unclumps it. So, that is a great tip. Do you hear that? That's a vacuum. I do have a stomach too. So my dad is currently just vacuuming now. I think he already knows this video. I don't know, but I'm just gonna go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I have answered any of your questions. If you guys have any other questions, you want to ask me, you can DM me on my Instagram, you can ask me on Twitter, or you can do it on Snapchat because pretty much now my Snapchat's like my YouTube. I'm always like filming me doing random things. It's normally on my bed, just to say that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. So two, five, bye.